welcome back to another video. Um, Luke can't be here, unfortunately, because he's got something to do, but it's a match reaction. And the full-time score at the John Smith Stadium, Huddersfield Town 4, Swansea City 1. Just a really bad day at the office, really. We never really kick-started or, or um, had any momentum, really, from the start. Um, obviously, they went ahead um, after about half an hour, I think, from a goal from Campbell. Uh, very good finish, nothing the keeper could do about it. Um, and then we did get back into the game from a very good free kick from Conor Horan, and from there I thought we'd push on, but we just didn't. We went in at one all at half time, and then second half I thought we were just going to run away with it, but we didn't. And we made a substitution, we brought on Cabango and Morris for Bennett and Lowe. And as soon as we brought off Bennett, we conceded three goals. Um, just in really quick succession as well. One was from O'Brien. Um, I can't remember who the third one was by, and then the fourth one was a, just a rocket from uh, Dwayne Holmes. Nothing that uh, Woodman could do about that. Um, no keeper would say that. It was just a great finish, but it's just really annoying because we've been so good all season, and then all of a sudden we just lose. And it was a really, really bad scoreline as well. We even played better against Man City. But now we've lost twice against Huddersfield, the only team to do the double over us this season. Um, fair play to them. They they haven't won all. Um, well, they haven't won since the turn of the year until today, and we hadn't lost either. But they just come and put four on us. So a very good performance from them. Not very good from us. I wouldn't say we were dreadful. We just wouldn't kick start. And it's annoying because Brentford lost as well. Um, lost two on to Coventry. They've lost three on the balance. So we could have gone ahead of them with two games in hand. But <sighs> the bigger picture is we're only one point behind them. And we have got two games in hand, which means if we do win both of them, we could go five points ahead of them. But these are the important games you need to win leading up to games in hand, and we didn't do that. But, you know, we've got Coventry now on Tuesday, which is going to be tough because we drew to them um, earlier on in the season as well. And obviously, they just beat Brentford, so it is going to be a tough test, but we need to win that. need to bounce back. All good teams who want to get promoted will get games like this, but they're just how they bounce back, really. But, um, yeah, it's just really annoying because, you know... We were on a good roll as well, hadn't lost this year. <sighs> Could have gone ahead of Brentford with two games in hand. Um, and now obviously it means after losing that, even if we win our games in hand, we won't go above Norwich. We'll still be in the top two, but it would have been nice to go top. But top two is the main target. We don't really need to win the league. It would be a bonus to win the league, but uh, finishing top two is more important. But um, yeah, it's just a bad result really. Um, just got to put it behind us. Obviously Jordan Morris is injured, which is very, very frustrating. Um, I feel bad for him because he just he came here. He was looking forward to getting started. Um, made a couple of appearances off the bench. Uh, today was given a longer chance. Came on at half time, so he had forty five minutes. And now he could be injured for the rest of the season. And if he doesn't extend his loan um, next season, we might not ever see him in a Swansea City shirt. Um, I might be being a bit dramatic, but um, we might not see him for the rest of the season. But who knows? But um, I hope we do. I hope we do see him, and I hope he does return to. Uh, to full fitness um, as soon as possible um, and we also brought on Morgan Whitaker, Ryan Manning and Jan Dander as well so um, yeah now on to player rating so in goal Woodman um, I'm gonna have to give him I'm gonna have to give him a four he, he wasn't he wasn't really bad to be fair he couldn't do anything about the uh, really any of the goals apart from possibly the second one but just a four just for the fact that we conceded four and it's going to be the same with the, all, all the defenders as well so there's not really criticism on one player and then full backs it was Robbers and Bidwell both very quiet I'm going to have to give Robbers and Bidwell both a four as well Bennett I'm actually going to give him a six because he only conceded one goal and then it was when he went off we struggled um, and then Gehi and Cabango I'm going to have to give uh, no Gehi and Norton sorry I'm going to have to give Gehi a five and Norton a four as well Norton had a really bad back pass which nearly cost us a goal and then two midfield it was Grimes and Fulton both very quiet again Grimes had one strike but um yeah I'm gonna have to give Fulton probably a five Grimes a four Horahan I'm gonna give him a six just for the goal but um, probably would have would have been definitely more if we got um, a win or at least even a draw out of it. And then up front was Ayo and Low. I'm gonna have to give Ayo a four because he literally did nothing all game. And Low, I'm gonna have to give him a three. Low was this was probably his worst game I've seen him play for us. Um, but that it wasn't all down to him. He wasn't really getting much service. But the few chances he had, 
uh, he was a bit unselfish, he should have probably shot to be honest. And then the five subs, Jordan Morris, um, I'll give him a five because he didn't really, couldn't really do much, he got went off injured. Cabango, give him a four, came on and conceded three goals. And then Manning, um, I'll give him a five, he didn't really do much wrong, but then he came on after the fourth uh, goal went in anyway. Um, Danda five because he did create stuff, he tried getting us uh, a goal. Uh, towards the end, um, created a few fouls from them, and Morgan Whitaker, um, probably give him a four, he didn't really see much of the ball, couldn't really do much, because um, obviously we had one man less then off the pitch, I think, um, yeah, it was just hard for him to get into the game, but it was hard for any of our players to get into the game, but, um, but now onto my man of the match, um, obviously, I can't go with a Swansea man of the match, my man of the match for the whole game would have to be Dwayne Holmes, um, one hundred percent with that with that strike. He also played really well, as well as that as well as well as the goal. Um, but if I have to give a our best player, I can't, I'm not really going to say man of the match because that would definitely go to Dwayne Holmes. But if I had to give our best player, probably Horan because of the goal. But yeah, it's just a bit annoying. It's a shocking result, really. We just need to put it behind us. Um, it is, it it is it is quite funny the fact that we just like I don't know just lost four one out of nowhere. But hopefully we can bounce back. Um, but yeah, I don't really know what to say. Um, it's our worst result this season by far, but you know, I believe we will bounce back and on to Coventry and we'll be back for the preview for that, so stay tuned and thanks for watching.